Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to trim and bevel square slabs. You want to make sure your surface is nice and clean. And this is day two, so on day one, you should have cut out squares, and now they should be a little stiff. And you're going to first trim your square slabs down. Um, the template that was provided um, was about a five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Um, so when you trim down your squares, it should be about maybe five inches by five inches. Now remember, a uh, definition of a square is that um, they're the same length and width on all four sides. Okay, so make sure that all your six slabs are the same size when you're cutting them down. Make sure you stack them so that they're all the same size. You make certain that, that it is. Okay. And once you have all your squares trimmed down, you're going to then use the beveling tool. Okay, and the beveling tool um, has a short side and a long side, and you're going to use that shorter side. You're going to notice that there's a wire that's attached to it, and this is going to make a nice cut into your squares on the sides so that uh, when the squares attach, it allows it to have a nice 90 degree angle attachment right there. Okay, so that shorter side is 45 degrees. So you're just going to line it up against your slab and you're going to slide it through. Remember the shorter side, that's the 45 degree angle. You're going to line it up and push forward. Okay. So you have a little scrap there. And you're going to turn, rotate, and go ahead and just cut all four sides. And it doesn't matter which color that you use. You end up getting um, a 45 degree angle either way. Just make sure that you're using that shorter side there. And you're going to stack your slab, your beveled slab. I'm going to use that blue one this time, and we're going to cut all the squares down with the bevel tool. And we're going to stack it with a, um, a paper towel in between, just like before, like on day one. And you're going to wrap it up with a plastic bag, and this time put a slightly damp paper towel inside somewhere so that um, the slabs stay moist for the next day. And of course, you're going to want to clean down your area, put your scraps in the used clay bin, and clean up your tools, and wipe down your table. And that's day two. Thanks for watching.